trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the Kowata brothers call the Kowata brothers call the Kowata brothers call the Kowata brothers help is on its way One morning in the outback, Alice got some very good news. So good, in fact, that she couldn't wait to tell the koala brothers. Oh, how wonderful! What is it, Alice? Oh, George, I've won! I've won a poetry competition with my poem. I must go and tell Frank and Buster straight away. Uh, what about your scooter, Alice? Uh, well done, Alice! Yay! Oh. It's Alice. Hello, Alice. Morning! My poem! I won! Won what, Alice? Poetry competition with my poem. Look, first ah, prize. Ah. Cooey, what's all the fuss? Alice's poem has won first prize in a poetry competition, Mitzi. Oh, that's great. I love poems. Let's hear it, Alice. Oh, do you really want to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. M, it's called My Favourite Place. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. With Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. That's me. I'm in the poem. Shh. We like to swim around all day. Then all my friends come along with me to Frank and Buster's house for tea. And so my day comes to an end out at the homestead with all my friends. Wow. Wow. Did you write all that yourself? Yeah. Everyone agreed it was a great poem. No wonder Alice had won first prize. We should have a party to celebrate. Good idea, Frank. And Alice can read out her poem. I learn my poem off by heart so they can see it all without a piece of paper. Are you sure about that, Alice? Learning a whole poem can be really hard. Oh, quite sure, Frank. Wowee! I'll go and tell everyone we're having a party for Alice's poem. <gasps> OK, then. Come on, Buster. Let's fly over to the store and pick up some food for the party. Right, Frank. Meanwhile, Mitzi was telling everyone she could find about Alice's good news. There you go. Thanks, Lolly. What brings you here, then, Mitzi? I've come to invite you to a celebration at the homestead. Alice has won first prize in a poetry competition. First prize, eh? Ha! <laughs> That's marvellous. And she's going to recite her poem to all of us by heart. Oh, splendid! By heart? Wow! I could never remember a whole poem. Back at the homestead, Alice was having trouble remembering her poem too. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there to... Oh, I've forgotten again. Play, that's it. The waterhole is big and play. I go there all the time to blue. No, that isn't right. How's it going, Alice? Thought you might like a drink. Oh, thanks, Ned. It's not going well at all. Remembering my poem is much harder than I thought. Maybe I can help. Do you think so, Ned? The waterhole is Mitzi too. I go there, Ned and Archie play. With Big and Swim around and Blue. Uh, I don't think that's quite right, Alice. I'll never remember it all. Maybe you could read your poem, Alice, not try to remember it. Cooey! I've told everyone about your poem, Alice. They can't wait to hear you say it all by heart. Lolly and Archie and oh. George and... Mitzi. It's no good. If I can't remember my poem, there's no point in having a recital. Oh, but I've told everyone now. Oh, don't give up, Alice. Uh, Frank? Yeah. Maybe you just need a bit of help from your friends. Sammy's good at remembering things. Why don't you ask him to help you? That's a great idea, Frank. Don't forget your poem. Oh, thanks, Ned. Sammy, Josie, I need you to help me. I'm trying to remember 
put my poem by heart, but I keep on... Forgetting? How do you remember things, Sammy? Well, if I have to remember something important, I sometimes draw a picture of it. That usually works. Now, how does this poem of yours begin? The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. Hmm, I know just what we need. <clears throat> ah, right, let's try it out. <clears throat> My favourite place. The... The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. I did it! I remembered! All you need to do is look at this picture whenever you need to remember the first line of your poem. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, don't mention it, oh. Alice. Uh. Alice realised that she just needed to find things that would remind her of each piece of the poem. Luckily, she had her friends to help her. OK. Ready, everyone? The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play with... Archie, Ned and Mitzi, too. We like... to swim around all day. Ah, I remembered. Thank you. Well done, Alice. See you at the party, Alice. Alice couldn't wait to tell Frank and Buster how well she was doing remembering her poem. Hi, Alice. Frank, Buster, I'm remembering. I'm remembering my poem. Listen. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. We like to swim around all day. We, we play and... Oh, what's the point in being a poet if I can't even remember my own poem? You remember the first line, Alice. How did you do that? Sammy said I needed pictures of each thing I wanted to remember. He gave me this. So then I asked Archie and Ned and Mitzi to help me remember the next bit. But now they're not here, I can't remember on my own. Maybe you don't have to, Alice. Frank's got an idea. I can tell. That's right, Buster. But I'll need to borrow your picture, Alice. Really? Don't worry, Alice. We're here to help. Frank realised that Alice needed all her friends to help her if she was going to remember her poem. So, while Alice helped Buster get the homestead ready for the party, Frank arranged for everyone to help Alice. And later that day... Thank you all for coming to our celebration party. To recite her poem by heart, here's Alice the Poet. Yay! Thank you, Frank. <clears throat> do you think she can do it? My favourite place. The... Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play with... Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. We like to... swim around all day. Then all my friends come along with me to Frank and Buster's house for tea. And so my day comes to an end. Out at the homestead with all my friends. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I remembered it all! Hey. Alice realised if you want to remember something really important, it's a good idea to break it down into bits and get all your friends to help you. Archie the Crocodile was an excitable sort of chap. In fact, he sometimes got so excited that he exaggerated things and that could lead to trouble. Morning, Mr Ned. Hello, Archie. I say, uh, what's that you have there, huh? I'm growing a pumpkin. Buster's showing me how. Splendid. Morning, Archie. 
Morning, Buster. Hello, Frank. Morning, Archie. Gosh, Ned. It's even bigger today. Yeah, twice as big as it was yesterday. I don't know what all the fuss is about. It's only a pumpkin. Yeah, but have you ever seen one this big before? Mm. What's your secret, Ned? I uh, water it every day. Uh, it's not just that, Ned. You talk to it. Mm. Yeah, it's good soil that makes them grow big. Oh, it works for my pumpkin anyway. <laughs> You're growing a pumpkin too, Archie. I didn't know that. And it's a big one, is it? Huge! Oh, good soil makes good pumpkins. And good pumpkins make good pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Me too. Lovely. You'll have lots from your giant pumpkin. So I will. In fact, I'm making some pies today. I'll bring one over for your supper this very night. Wow. Are you sure you'll have enough? With a pumpkin as big as mine? There'll be plenty. Yeah, pumpkin pie. Mm. Well, I'd better get going. I have a lot to do. Bye. 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 Archie was looking forward to harvesting his lovely big pumpkin, but when he got home, he found it was a lot smaller than he remembered. Oh. In fact, it was very small indeed. Far too small for a feast at the Koala Brothers' oh. homestead. Oh, no. He decided to ask Alice for a special recipe. Bye, Archie. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Bye, Alice. Archie was worried. His pumpkin was too small for Alice's recipe. Maybe Sammy would be able to help. Oh dear. Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Frank and Buster were enjoying a peaceful afternoon. Nice of Archie to cook us supper. Very nice, isn't it, Ned? Yes, I suppose so. What's wrong, Ned? I'd like to cook pumpkin pie for you. No worries. You can do it next time. Yes, we love pumpkin pie. Uh -huh. We could eat it every week. <sighs> uh, more lemonade, anyone? Please. Hello, Sammy, Josie. Hi. Oh, hi, Archie. What can I get you? Um, four eggs. Oh, no. No, make that two eggs. Yes. Uh, two bags of sugar. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no, I think one will do. Here, let me help. Pumpkin pie, eh? This looks good. Uh, four eggs, please, Josie. Uh, two bags of sugar. Uh-huh. Gosh, Archie, this is going to be a big pie. Are you having a party? Party? What party? Who's having a party? Can I come? Archie's cooking pumpkin pie. Oh, that party. I know all about that. He's grown a huge pumpkin and he's cooking it for everyone at the homestead. Is that right? You've grown a pumpkin? It's this big, isn't it, Archie? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Archie had done it again. He just got so excited, he couldn't help himself. Wow, that is big. I think you'll need six eggs and three bags of sugar. That'll make lots of pie. Sammy, you and Josie should come to supper too. There'll be plenty, um, won't there, Archie? I, uh, uh... And we can't forget George and Alice. I'll go and invite them. See you later. Bye. Bye, Mitzi. That's very kind of you, Archie. Thanks. I'd love to come. How about you, Josie? Oh, yes, please. I love pumpkin pie. <laughs> uh, there you go. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Jack hear the word C five O Fum. Hey, oh. everybody! <laughs> Come on, we have to get ready. We're having a party. Josie and Alice are coming, and Sammy and George. Well, what was that about a party, Mitzi? I just saw Archie, and he says his pumpkin is huge, so he's going to make more pie. Looks like this is going to be quite a feast. Hmm, more people than we thought. More people than Archie thought too, I expect. Do you think he might like a hand, Frank? I think he might, Buster. And after all, we are here to help. 
Stand by. Standing by. Shocks away, Buster. Shocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckled up. Whee! Oh, I'm really hungry. I can't wait to... Hey, Buster, can you hear something? Come along, old chap. It's Archie. But who's he talking to? Please try. Grow, little pumpkin. Please grow. <coughs> oh, uh, hello, chaps. Well, Archie, let's see this enormous pumpkin of yours then. Well, um, Archie... Is something wrong? Oh. <laughs> That's a nice little fella, Archie. Where's the big one? Uh, that is the big one. Um, in fact, it's the only one. But you said it was huge. I know. Um, I got carried away. Ah, I feel awful. I told all my friends I'd make them a huge supper. I don't want to let everyone down. What can I do? Oh, oh, don't worry, Archie. We'll help you think of something. Yes, but everyone's going to arrive soon, and I won't have enough pie. It's all right, Archie. They'll understand. Ooh, if only I had another pumpkin. Ned! Come on, Archie. There's no time to lose. Hello, what's going on? Ned, would you like to help make the pumpkin pie? Oh, yes! Just one thing, we're expecting more people than we thought and we're a little short of pumpkin. Oh, dear. That's all right, we can use Molly. Oh, thank you, Mr Ned. Isn't that a great pumpkin, Buster? Yep, that's a whopper. Yeah, me too. Me oh, I love the tea pie. Ta da! Well done, you two. Now. So, with a little help from his friends, Archie right. was able to keep his promise and serve a lovely pumpkin pie. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he learnt never to exaggerate. Uh, ha! Would anyone like seconds? Me oh, too! Yes. Yes. Oh, do. Are you sure there's enough? Well, there's plenty of pumpkin pie for everyone! Yay. Yay. There's enough! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>